One of the more common reports that you may use on a day-to-day -day basis is the deposit slip report. The deposit slip report shows you an in-depth breakdown of all the payments you have received within a certain time period, including the method of payment. In order to access the deposit slip report, you want to come to the drop down menu next to the home button and in the reports column, click on deposit slip report. The first page it will take you to is the deposit slip filter page. This is where we will set the filters for our report. The report will automatically default to today's date. However, you can change this as required. You can also filter to include or exclude any payment methods that you don't require. So for example, if your practice does not accept cash, you can always untick cash payment. Once you've selected all the relevant options for your practice, you want to click on preview. Now, because this is a demo account, there isn't a lot of data on this report but you can see that we have one cash payment from our patient Peter to the amount of $100. And if we scroll down, we have two electronic e-claims from Bupa to the amount of $198. And if we scroll down further, we have two FPOS amounts, one for $200 and one for $762. At the bottom here, you can see we have subtotals for each different payment method. And at the very bottom, we have the total for the practice as a whole. Now, the deposit slip as a whole is fairly easy to read and understand. It's fairly basic. You've got your date and time in one column, the name of the patient in the second column, the bank and the check number, if applicable, as well as the amount. However, one thing that you do need to bear in mind with the deposit slip report, and this is quite crucial, is the fact that the deposit slip report does not show refunds. So if we refunded this FPOS payment here for $200, it is not going to show a line below this with a negative $200 amount to reflect that refund. That means that when you do this report at the end of the day, if you've done any refunds to patients throughout the day, you may notice that this total down here is incorrect. It is for that reason that we do recommend running this report in conjunction with the day sheet report, as the day sheet report does list refunds and adjustments that have been made and therefore can be cross-referenced with this report to get an accurate figure. The day sheet report will be covered in a later video. If you want to print the deposit slip report, come up to the top right hand corner and click on the blue print button. This will then open the report as a PDF file within Google Chrome, which you can then either download using this button here or print using the button to the right. It is worth noting that none of the reports within Ascend can be changed in terms of how they look. They are hard coded into the software. So what we get is what we get. If you have any questions or concerns, you are of course welcome to call our support line or you can refer to our Zendesk articles and the link for that will be put into the description.